My name is Katie Surratt. Hi, my name is Jeff Gwynn. Hi, my name is Andrew Boyd. Hi, I'm Nikki McDonald. I graduated from Harris Summer High School in 2009. Spotswood High School in the class of 2002. Class of 1995 from Harrisonburg High School. And I'm a junior at Turner Ashby High School. I grew up in a broken home. I uh, walked into the high school just hurt and with a lot of pain, um, just wearing a mask. Growing up, I always went to church, but I thought that it was just something you would do on Sundays. And as life progressed on, I started to party and I was looking for life in all the wrong places because I thought that that would get me accepted. I always thought that following Jesus was just a set of rules and I never really wanted anything to do with it. I grew up as a good kid. Uh, I went to church. I, I always followed the rules, well, for the most part. I would say that I lived most of my life trying to get um, approval from other people. And if people didn't like me, then that really crushed me. When I started as a freshman at uh, Spotswood High School, I Went to Young Life Club, uh, met Jeff Stables. When I was in eighth grade, we uh, had a phenomenal uh, PE teacher named Joe Slater. When I was in eighth grade, I met my wildlife leader, Janie, and she was really nice to me, and I thought that that was really weird because I never met anyone as nice as her. We would do Bible studies early in the morning, 6 a.m. at Waffle House. Uh, he came to my wrestling matches, my cross-country meets. My Young Life leader was Julie Landis. I met her the first time in Harrisburg High School lunchroom. So confused, why was a college girl walking into a high school lunch? She walked through so many different stages of life with me, uh, through ups and downs, and she became one of my best friends. And that really impressed upon me, um, just how Jesus is real and present in every part of someone's life. And he just demonstrated that to me uh, through the time that we spent together. Seems right to a man till he's in overhead and he don't understand how the plans he made only let him astray. But if a good gift come down from above, from the Lord of light, like a labor of love, upon the child who waits for him. I decided to go to camp in 2008 and just being from a broken home and from a fatherless home, I, it was the first time I heard about my father in heaven, and it changed everything. I'd never heard of Young Life, but we were told that if we went, this would be the best week of our life, and I signed up in a heartbeat. I went into camp just feeling so empty and so unsatisfied, and in the past, I had experienced the joy that Jesus gives us. I remember hearing the messages from the speaker. I remember being transformed and, and really saying to Jesus, if you are real and what you've done is real, uh, I want to live life with you. I realized that he's enough for me and that he's always going to be there no matter what, and I can't imagine life without him now. That was the week I decided that I'm going to be all in. I'm going to give my life to Christ, and I've never looked back. My life with Jesus now is just so reassuring to know that no matter how many times I mess up, Jesus is always going to be there no matter what. And He makes me want to fill my day with Him and sh show other people the joy that He brings me and show people how He's made me so happy and so full with life. By the time I got to JMU, I knew that I wanted to serve the way that I had come to know Jesus better was to spend 
that time that I spent with Jeff, um, and I wanted to, to do that for other kids. So um, I went through leadership training um, and then became a Young Life leader at TA High School. I went to Virginia Tech and Dave Sloop really poured into my life and showed me what it's like to be a true follower of Jesus and I became a volunteer leader and through that experience I decided that um, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And now I'm on Young Life staff in Northern Stafford, Virginia. I'm an area director there and I get to do what my Young Life leader did for me. I get to step into high schoolers' lives and share the good news with them. Um, while they're in darkness and in brokenness, I get to bring light and hope. And I will call, like the in the morning sun. To all of you here tonight, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for making Young Life in Harrisonburg and Rockingham County possible. Because of you, my life has forever looked different. Because of your support, my life has been changed forever. Thank you to everyone who's made Young Life possible in Harrisonburg and Rockingham County. And because of Young Life, my life has been forever changed. I was in middle school uh, when Lee Corder and a group of folks said this is the time to, to bring this to our community. And my life is different because Young Life came to Harrisonburg and Rockingham County. And hopefully I get to continue that now in the community I live in now in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. That's different because of Young Life. So thank you that you would continue to support it because there are more kids that need to hear of the love of Jesus. Once again.